What? This is the wrong video? Oh, why didn't you tell me? I thought we were doing a video on that. Okay. All right, so I'm back with you all. This is Jim from YSC. Let's see what Dalen really has in store for us. <laughs> So we have the bottom part of the paintwork done in the tank. What that's going to do is it's going to give us a nice corrosion block, keep the interior nice and clean, which in turn keeps the water clean. So at this point, we need to put the top on. Fits good and tight. So we have the tank. Uh, the rings for the lids are going to go in. The reason that I'm putting the top on now and the paint line is down on the white, so I can fill the tank up with water and then the paint won't get burnt off. So it'll act like a giant heat sink. But if I fill it up too full, I won't be able to weld the top edge all the way around because I won't be able to get the aluminum hot. So that's why we left the paint down two inches. Before I do that, I have to put this fitting in and this is gonna be our water pickup. So I've machined up a part that'll allow three quarter inch pipe to go into there. We'll drop it down like this. I'll drill a hole with a hole saw, clean it up and then weld it in place. So then you'll be able to hook the plumbing up from the top and the bottom side will be a pickup. So we need to do that. And then the plate will be ready to weld in. I'll fill the tank up with water and start my welding. All right, so we're here at the finished part of the tank which holds 65 gallons of vodka, I mean water. Yeah, we're not going across Canada with it to sell it on the other side. And it's always gonna have water in here just in case any of the custom guys are watching. Should we put, be putting that on video? Our 65 gallon water tank is done. And in order to hide that, what we're gonna do, we're gonna use these really cool tanks. And they sit like this. Now oh, that's pretty tricked out, huh? Then our eight gallon water tank goes in and it sits sort of like that. That's pretty wild. And Jeff's gonna drop the sink in from the inside so we can see how that looks. Do you really have to be so loud at it? It fits well without making so much noise. It's just f***ing with you, Jeff. Oh, there, that's better. We always have people making noise. It's supposed to be silent when it goes in. Maybe we can edit some of the thunder out. So this is adjustable. So this is adjustable. We'll adjust this out and I'm going to put it some aluminum down and we'll thread it in, put some inserts down for the feet and then the cover will go on like such. So this cover actually drops down in here. It's a little tight right now. Now that the top's welded on, when we get this stuff all done, we can actually go back and drain the tank out and paint the inside of it. But I have some more welding for these brackets, obviously, for this and I want to keep the water in the tank so that it doesn't heat the paint on the inside of the tank. I hope you all liked this video. Don't tell the customs guy where we're keeping the vodka. And the next video, which I believe will be 11, this will be 10, and the next one will be 11. We will go over how all of this is getting installed and 
mounted and plumbing and all of that fun stuff. Subscribe, like, send me a comment. Don't send me a comment. Be safe. Make something cool, even if it doesn't have anything to do with wood or steel. Making somebody happy is pretty cool, too. We'll talk with you all later. Mm -hmm.